Where has the Black Alien Project been? For a little while now, people have noticed that Anthony Lefredo, the walking experiment who underwent every modification under the sun to transform himself to look like an alien, had been missing for quite some time. So what exactly happened? Did aliens come down and abduct him? Or was the pressure of the foot removal too much for him and he had to quit social media? To answer this question, we have to dive deep into where he was in life and what the state of his mind was prior to going missing. Cause a few months back, many articles claimed that Black Alien Project couldn't find a job because of his extreme appearance. However, let's be real, we all could have guessed that, and we're not gonna discredit his intelligence, pretty sure he knew that himself. Which is why he did the smart thing and became a tattoo artist. And just like that, we kill two birds with one stone. Firstly, he doesn't need to be hired by anyone. If he chooses, he can open up his own tattoo studio and run it himself. And second, for everyone asking how he earns his money, well, that solves your question there. His work isn't anything extravagant, he prefers to call it alien abstract. And much to many people's surprise, Black Alien actually has a ton of clients that want these sort of tattoos. But that's to be expected due to the large social media following he used to have. In other words, when you're somewhat of a celebrity, people buy your stuff. Now, where did we leave off with his ever evolving series of body modifications? Well, the last insight we had, he wasn't even 50% complete. But to further push himself to that final goal, Black Alien wanted to remove two of his toes to become more like his companions. However, this is where his entire project gets halted. In the last quarter of 2022, Black Alien gets banned from Instagram. So what do you do when they try to keep you down? Well, that's a no-brainer. Just go to another platform. And that's exactly what Bro did. He created a TikTok account which didn't even last a month as he was banned from there too. Now you could argue that TikTok is super soft and they get rid of a lot of people just for breathing wrong. But why Instagram? Well, there actually might be something deeper going on here. It seems that these platforms are now trying to silence heavily modded individuals. Because the Black Alien Project's account wasn't the only one that was deleted. Diablo Prado, whom some people refer to as Black Alien Project 2, has also been banned from IG. So is this a coincidence or is it a stance against this sort of lifestyle and these types of people? While we really don't have an answer for that yet, time will definitely prove this theory. If more of these individuals get booted, then it means the powers that be don't want these sort of things to be in the public's eyes. But the real question is, since his main account got deactivated and he no longer had that massive following of millions, was he gonna still continue modifying his body? Or would his journey end there and he had to go through life living like this at the cost of not getting mass attention? Because attention is a very powerful thing. For some, it serves as a purpose to wake up in the morning and live life. It's like a rush of dopamine when all eyes are on you and you're the center of attention. And a lot of people would argue that if the validation of likes and views online didn't exist, a number of these individuals who've modified their bodies to a higher level wouldn't have done so if it wasn't for the exposure that social media provided. And it doesn't only relate to body mod enthusiasts. This is something that the entire world is plagued with. Now, the deactivation of his Instagram could have had two effects. It could have either been a harsh reality check that the black alien was faced with because of the fact that he wouldn't get as much attention to look forward to on a day-to-day -day basis, or it might have actually been a relief and kind of a way out of the standard and future disabling modifications he set himself up for. After all, getting rid of your feet and your legs like he wanted to do are pretty life-changing and scary events. And as much as people are telling him to stop his project, there are equally as much people egging him on and telling him to go further. As for now, his Instagram page has finally gone back up, but that's not to say it couldn't be taken away again. 